You are watching Life on Gabriela TV, community television for you, by you. Hi, how are you doing today? Pretty good. Why'd you come out to the event today? Well, I was really happy that um, Frank had um, spearheaded this initiative and was very interested to see what perspective and what approach um, the group was going to take in terms of Gabriola News and what focus the group had. How needed do you think uh, a, a local journalism initiative is? How, how needed is it here in Gabriel? I think it's very needed because what we have is superficial, uh, feel good, um, you know, the latest uh, artist or whatever. Um, uh, but there's not the depth that, especially since um, the flying shingle. Uh, Chris uh, was a, a more critical thinker and more in-depth with the woman who ran this uh, other little paper. I see. Um, uh, so she would uh, present, you know, the critical view and get into the depth of what's going on here and call people into account. And we need that because organizations are running with a uh, half a million dollars and amongst themselves they're bored and all of all of that but um, uh, I don't see public accountability happening. Why is it important do you think for us to be really delving deeply into these things? Uh, because um, there are um, all kinds of critical issues from housing and health and racism, trans and homophobia, and uh, only the glossy stuff gets looked at, the superficial, nice island, great tourist place to come to, but not the real, um, on the ground, life day-to-day uh, -day, um, of people uh, sleeping out because they have no money, including seniors now in their vans or whatever. Um, so there are dire circumstances that are right before our eyes that we uh, don't know about because, you know, we're asleep basically, glossing over things. What's important for you? What's the most important issue at the top of your mind? Right now, um, racism and trans and homophobia, it's come to the fore. Um, there are increasing numbers of people of um, non-white races and here on the island and they're being treated abysmally and that cannot happen as well as the homelessness uh, and uh, people in dire straits financially and needing food. Uh, it sounds like the island has a lot of the same issues that the big cities have really. It's a microcosm, yeah, that's for sure, of, of the larger world. Uh, we have all the same issues, absolutely. Uh, but we really need to st uh, st uh, take our head out of the sand, I guess, and, and deal with it. I mean, I, I haven't been proactive. Um, you know, I lost my spouse uh, four years ago now, but it's taken me a long time to get myself together again. And now I am waking up and get my feet on the ground and my strengths again and it's like we've got to change um, the way we're doing things and uh, make make some real strides as uh, some effective um, positive um, I, I don't know enterprises to assist people and to um, educate people uh, uh, as well around, I'm thinking around the racism, homophobia issue, but... And why did you come today to volunteer? What's, what's driving that decision to come and volunteer with us? Um, I care about this community. Uh, I have a lot of um, 
uh, skills and abilities and a good mind still, and um, I think I have something to contribute. I don't see enough being done to uh, bring forward the concerns that not only I, but so many of us have. Well, that's great. Thank you so much. And thank you, too. And thanks for coming to the island. And I look forward to stirring up the pots. Excellent. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> See ya. You are watching Life on Gabriela TV, community television for you, by you.